All right, guys, we're back. And we got a kind of special shave today. Sorry for the background noise. I think my wife's like one running water in the other bathroom. But um, <clears throat> we got a special shave today. And it's because one of my subscribers asked me if I could do a dedication shave to his father, which passed, I believe he said, 15 years ago. And so my condolences, man. I'm sure it never, you know, the loss of your loved ones never really leaves. So uh, my condolences. And um, so his the subscriber name was Kyle2020. And he just inquired about it on one of my videos, just left a comment. And um, I figured, uh, you know, why the hell not, you know? Um, I didn't know where to start or, you know, why I was worthy of doing, you know, this, but uh, I'm definitely going to give it a shot, you know, for Kyle. So I asked him what he wanted me to use, and he said he'd leave it up to me. And so I tried to put some thought into this, and what I chose was Martin Soap's Legend. And I chose it, one, because it smells great, but it's kind of like when you lose someone within your own, like, group of family friends, that person becomes, you know, like, immortalized, you know? You remember them, and they're kind of like a legend within your own family, you know what I mean? You remember them. And so, that's why I chose Martin Soap's Legend. Um, I think this is a great set. And a, a very... Whoops, almost dropped the lid. And a very nice base, so... And this is just a, a like a very nice, it, like I, I think I said in the past that it's kind of like a dark, clean scent, which I know that's probably hard to understand, but if you just imagine a clean scent and then it has like, like some like warmth in there as well. It smells fresh, but it's like warmer than your average fresh scent. And um, I like it a lot, it's great. <clears throat> I didn't write down scent notes or anything like that, but that's what we'll be using today. Um, I'm actually going to get in a a um, face lather out of this. I'm going to be using the Lancaster brush. And I figured, I, I kind of put into thought why, why... Or I should say, <clears throat> I tried to put in how I would, you know, kind of feel um, about my own father and whatnot. Not passing or anything, although he does have COVID right now, which is kind of some scary shit. But uh, I think he's on the upturn. And um, I kind of, you know, thought about my own father and... I, uh, I figured this Lancaster brush, and it's kind of simplistic, and, you know, no frills, but there's just something, like, simple and, uh, respectable about the, the, like, worksmanship on this, and I kind of thought, you know, that's a lot like my dad, no frills, but just respectable, you know what I mean? Just a respectable guy and so that's why I chose this brush because this kind of you know gave me a moment to honor my own father while um, while honoring Kyle's father so and of course you know I'm not a face lather -er -er. so I'm gonna try to make sure I get a good amount on there hopefully it's becoming quite pasty now, so hopefully I have enough. Just doing coffee this morning, this Sunday morning. And then I chose the Carve Christopher Bradley razor. And I chose this because when I think about this razor, it's just, it's like, it's one of those workhorse razors where it's like, it's always there. It's always there for me. And it's dependable. I like the ease of use 
makes it to where it's like a no-brainer. I know it'll always be there in a pinch, you know what I mean? If I get a rough shave and I want to shave the following day, I could just choose the, the carve because I know it's going to be easy on my skin. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I, I trust that it'll give me a good shave regardless, even if I'm a little bit off that day. And then I chose the Pulse Silver Super Iridium, which is my favorite blade. And, um, at least in my life, my father is one of my favorite people. So, just an opportunity to use one of my favorite things. So I'll load that up on there. And, uh, I am really honored. I mean, I don't know. Kyle, I, I've interacted with him in my comments, but other than that, that's about it. And um, I'm just honored that you would kind of, uh, you know, put me in this position to do something as important, you know, as uh, honoring his father. So uh, thank you, Kyle, for putting that trust in me. And um, I hope I do you justice and you find a little happiness from this uh, dedication shave. So I'll just wet the face here and uh, try to get some of this out of the, the puck on the face. I'm sure I'll need all the help I could get. <clears throat> Marting soaps, of course, is made by Jennifer Marting. Great artisan that's been around for a long time, soap making. Currently making uh, her own soaps through the Marting Soaps brand, as well as uh, Strike Gold Shaves soap base. She's the maker of that as well. And uh, just really good stuff. I've been a fan of her products for a while. <clears throat> All right. Let's get the uh, brush to the face here. I'm sure this is going to be pretty pasty, so we'll be adding some water here pretty quickly. And of course it is. So I'll just dip the tips in my distilled water cup. So, uh, since drink on this is about five or six definitely there to be enjoyed during your shave and it smells great I think this would be a good one for the office to where to work if you work in an office setting I think this would be fine perfect for dates uh, Nighttime outings. Obviously, this would be perfectly fine for casual enjoyment. Oops. Almost any fragrance is fine for casual enjoyment. <clears throat> but, uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. But, um, yeah, this is a good one. I really enjoy this. I noticed uh, Jen hasn't came out with any new scents since she released her original three. Which all three of the original offerings sounded good. But I don't see a whole hell of a lot of like community interaction on her part. And so maybe she's just flying under the radar. But, um, or maybe she's just <laughs> stuck in the workshop on, uh, Frank's behalf. Because <laughs> I know Frank is a, he's a release monster lately <laughs> on Strike Old Shave. Just releasing stuff back to back to back. Try to hydrate this section a little bit more. Dip the tips one more time. 
try to get some more hydration up here. All right, I think that's hydrated pretty good. All right, I'll just set this to the side. I don't even remember how to uh, face lather anymore. All right, so here we go. Carve with the pole silver. Yeah, I haven't lost anybody really near. And I am very grateful for that. Um, diabetes kind of runs in my family. <clears throat> and um, both sides, my father and my mother. And if you know me, you're probably thinking... <laughs> All those beers probably ain't uh, helping my chances either. <laughs> but, um... Pretty grateful and fortunate to not have anybody super close to me pass on just yet. It is a part of life. That doesn't make it easy, though. just because we know it's coming for all of us. Doesn't make it any easier, because we're selfish, you know? And we love these people and we want these people around for us. And, um, You know, I totally have complete understanding for that. Now, I've lost family members and whatnot, but like I said, nothing like super close to me just yet. And um, I could only imagine how rough that must be. And, uh,. I really feel for everybody that has to go through that. Even though, like I said, it's just part, just part of life. Just the way things go, you know what I mean? But, doesn't mean that you can't have a little bit of a understanding and a little bit of a sympathy for what, what comes with that for, you know, their loved ones that they leave behind, so. <clears throat> I really, I really do uh, feel for anybody that has had to go through that. But, um, you know, you're always, you're always still here with people that care about you. You, you know, you all kind of, you mourn together and then you kind of recover together, you know. And um, there's always someone, you know, there's always someone there that's here that that cares about you you know you're never never ever completely alone ever and so although might be going through a tough time and I'm not saying you know Kyle is or anybody is specifically but saying although it might be rough you're never alone so <clears throat> I'm going to try to get a little bit more soap on although I know it's unnecessary this thin layer will uh, will work but uh, I don't think it'll hurt to get just a little bit more on there I'm doing okay as far as time goes And, um, this isn't so much about the gear, but everything is performing great. The soap, of course, I'm a big fan of this. 
V1 Badger Knot. And a big fan of the uh, Lancaster Razor Works. Um, handle, this kind of ivory handle. Simplistic, but it's kind of classy and timeless. That's a little bit better. All right, here we go. Against the grain, after a little sip of coffee. So Kyle, I hope, uh, hope things have gotten easier for you. And I think it's great that 15 years later, you're still very much in tune with honoring your father. I think that's very respectable in, in its own right because I know that um, there are some unfortunate cases where people forget, you know, about their the ones they've lost. And as time goes on, you know, they don't cherish that memory as much as they should. So I think it's great that it's still very near and dear to you. <clears throat> it's a uh, says a lot about you as well, you know, it's very respectable. And I could just, uh, I could just imagine that I'd be in the same boat if I lost my father or anyone else that holds a very important place in my life. So you're a good example all of your own honoring your father even after all this time like I said I just hope that this video did some justice you know and if it didn't I really did try to uh to make this one special I think we got a damn good shave I mean how could we not with these products Just about as comfortable as it could possibly be. Close, comfortable, what more could you ask for? All right, let's uh, rinse off. We'll get in some post-shave. <clears throat> the, uh, the soap worked real well. <clears throat> The razor, always comfortable. That's the B plate, so it's a good daily driver. <clears throat> it's not, it's not the like most efficient, you know, obviously, but it's it's good for, like, it's good for a comfortable close shave. And you know, of course, if you're, if you know you're beard map well you can uh you can get bbs out of it <clears throat> it's not that mild but it's uh definitely newbie friendly or daily shaver friendly this is the lancaster towel <clears throat> Yeah, we had ourselves a very enjoyable shave today. Talking about a pretty, pretty damn important topic, you know what I mean? Although, I was kind of scatterbrained and all over the place, but that's normal for me. But uh, definitely important stuff. To remember 
and honor your loved ones. <clears throat> I guess something could be said for giving flowers while they're still here too. Always the hardest part of the shave, man. Just getting the soap back out of the beard. All right. Okay. Set that to the side. And we'll get a little post shave in. And we might as well. Might as well grab the good oleo for good measure. That's one thing. These splashes. That's, uh, a lot of people try to update their soap base, and that's very um, appealing. Got the matching splash. It's very appealing to um, us hobbyists. Oh, new soap base, you know, shiny. <clears throat> but I think it's important to make sure that your post shave products are great. You know what I mean? You can update the post shave of your soap base. Nobody's going to complain about that, but... Don't forget about your post-shave products either. I don't really... The updating of aftershaves does not happen at the same frequency that the updating of soap bases does. Three drops of good oleo skin food. And we'll get some nice healthy dosage of that legend aftershave from Martin Soaps. Which, I think this stuff smells great, but I do think it, it um, would benefit from more skin food in the soap base, or in the aftershave base. That's just me. It does have a, a mild alcohol tingle, which is totally fine with me. And I'm sure the uh, good oleo kind of tamed a little bit of that um, burn. But the burn isn't necessarily what bothers me. It's when my face dries out because it's just alcohol. You know what I mean? I think post shaves these days can definitely benefit from some added skin food. But uh, smells fucking fantastic. So, Marting Soaps Legend. Don't sleep on Marting Soaps. <clears throat> it's a. Uh, it's Jen's, Jen Marting, it's her venture, you know, separate from Strike Old Shave, and I, I don't want to see her close up shop on that either, so don't forget about Jen Marting and Marting Soaps, real good stuff. Alright, so I think that'll be it for me, use, of course, Marting Soaps Legend, Soap and Aftershave great stuff we use the good old Lancaster razor works brush just a simple ivory classy v1 badger knot tied for my favorite knot in the den use a little bit of good oleo with our aftershave that's just some skin food just a pure oil blend right there and of course the carve B plate pull silver blade just a standby razor that I can depend on a workhorse. So that's that. Um, I guess that's it. Um, I had a great shave and uh, we talked about Kyle 2020 and honoring his father. And uh, I really hope this did you justice. I, I hope you're happy with this video and I hope that uh, it brings you some happiness today when uh, things might be weighing on you and uh, I really appreciate you giving me this opportunity as well to uh, to uh, do something as important as honoring your father Kyle so thank you for that and uh, I hope everybody has a good Sunday and some good shaves and we'll catch you tomorrow on Monday for another good one so cheers with the coffee Peace.